Audio Jungle. Good afternoon. Here is the national news from BGI TV. Baba Bagedemo TV. I am Sanus Olakomi Adikade. First year in the major headlines for the national news. Market Day signs Oyo's 2023 budget of 310.4 billion naira into law in Shaki. Mazos lands worry over constellation of Eastern's railway. Bloody clash looms in Nogu parks, garage over control. Panic as government abduct several students in Nondo state. Kidnapper calls collecting 3 million naira ransom from victims' parents. Fake doctor 3 suspects arrested in Nondo state. Four died on Lagos to Abelkuta Expressway. And lastly, on sports, flying eagles to face host Egypt, Senegal, Mozambique. Now, hear the news in details. Oyo State Governor Shei Makide on Friday signed the State 2023 Appropriation Bill, Pristine Budget of Sustainable Development, into law in Shaki. The governor who has entered the bills at the headquarters of Oyo State Agribusiness Development Agency in Sharkey lauded the lawmakers for timely passage of the bill. A statement by the Chief Price Secretary to the governor, Mr. Taiwo Adisa, quoted the governor as saying that the budget will aid the completion of some projects as well as the state development. He added that his administration has been able to increase the state's internally generated revenue to over 3.8 billion naira. It said I've signed the budget into law right here in Sharkey. So history has been made. Let me use this opportunity to thank the speaker and other members of the assembly for the speedy passage of the budget. I learned that the lawmaker stayed very late to sign the budget yesterday and also that we're able to manage the House of Assembly workers, said by the person. The movement of the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra has halted the excuse given by the federal government for the cancellation of Eastern Railway project. Leader of the group, Ishen Namado, described the excuse of lack of force given by the federal government as shameful. He said in a statement that it was a shame to have abandoned the project when such rail project was already in use in the northern part of the country. He said the Muhammadi Buhari's led federal government speedily and rigorously developed the cold northern state, built and promoted modern railway transportation across northern states and Lagos states, including constructing a highway with money with the crude oils from southeastern states. They showcased that hypocritical tendencies against this eastern region with reckless abandon. It is totally hypocritical and unacceptable, for there is no money to fund the Eastern Railway project. The Road Transport Employers Association of Nigeria, Ogu State, has raised the alarm that the peaceful atmosphere being enjoyed in the state may be transient, following a planned bloody violence at parks in Gary in some parts of the state. The region said there might likely be a bloody violence next week, following the threat by the chairman of the state park management, Akim Bordery. Akim Bade said Bordery went to the parks and garages in Kuto and in Toshi in the state and threatening their members of violence next week. He said the peaceful atmosphere in the state has been truncated following the violence that broke out a few days ago, leaving six people with various degrees of gun injuries including the return chairman. He said members of return in some parks and galleries have been warned to stay away from the parks next week by Bordeaux. Bordering, threatening to take over the parks and galleries. About four students have been reportedly abducted by government along Akono Ajowa Road in Akoko area of Undo State. 
Politics, Nigeria learned that the student from Kogi State Polytechnic were returning home from the youth site. They were ambushed on Friday at Ego Ginado Assis in Apopo. The area is noted for crimes, especially kidnapping. Consequently, jail that grieved the residents of Ajowa community and its environs. Contacted the police area commander in Ikari, Mori Agbola South, his men has been combing forest along the Akonu Ajowa Akoko Road to rescue the abducted students. The state police command spokesman, Fumi Odulami, could not soon be reached for comment. The Akoko attacked one of the several major incidents this year underscoring the challenge faced in Nigeria's ostrich security forces. Operatives of the Plato State Police Command have arrested a suspected kidnapper trying to collect 3 million naira ransom from the victim's father. The State Commissioner of Police, Bartolome Oyeka, disclosed this on Friday while briefing journalists on the command breakthrough at the state headquarters in Jos. Oyeka saw that on December 21, 2022, at about 0.140 hours, while acting on an imprecable information from a reliable informant, one Ashiri Ibrahim, aged 22 years, of Agwan Rogo Jos, suspected of kidnapped one four year old Abubakar Nasifi of Zamzam Abuja Mata Records. To a division of the command at Leicester Hotel area while collecting to remain near a ransom from the victim's parent. He stated upon interrogation, the suspect made some useful disclosure that led to the rescue of the victim from the kidnappers then on halt. Further investigation led to the arrest of his accomplice, one Bashir Salem of Ricos. Just who initiated the kidnapping, the case is still under investigation. The unknown state police command on Friday paraded four persons for allegedly participating in kid criminal activities in the state. The suspects who were arrested, arrested over crimes such as murder, vandalism, and illegal medical practice include Ebene Adeleke, Aderemi Okiki, Alaji Magari, and Rabi Olaniko. Parading the suspects at the command headquarters are the state police spokesperson. Mrs. Fumilayo Odulami said one of the suspects, Rabiu Olalekon, was allegedly parading himself as a medical doctor in Odigbo, local government area of the state, before his arrest. Odulami said on December 20, 2022, one Rabiu Olalekon, who has been parading himself as a medical doctor of Iremide Private Hospital, Orita Ojo, in the Odigbo local government area, was arrested by team of special infection squad when a report of unprofessionalism was reported against him. The suspect performed cesarean section on a pregnant woman who was later rushed to mother and child hospital due to excessive bleeding from a private part. It was discovered that the self acclaimed doctor stitches a womb and the urinary tracts together. From Ernest Inwokolo Abelkuta, four persons died yesterday. Why nine others sustained injuries in an accident involving a Mazda bus and an unregistered truck at Obadaoko on the Lagos Abelkuta Expressway? Mrs. Florence Okwe, the public education officer of the Federal Road Safety Corps in Ogun, confirmed the accident to newsmen in Abelkuta. Okwe explained that 14 people were involved in the accident comprising nine male adults and five female adults. According to her, nine persons sustained injuries, four male adults and five female adults. A total of four persons were recorded as dead, all male adults. She said two vehicles were involved with registration numbers, a mazard bus and unregistered truck. She stated further that the accident was caused by the road violation by the unregistered truck which collided with the boss mark KRD 831YD, saying unfortunately the driver refused to stop. And lastly, on sports. 
Nigerians flying eagles have been drawn in a tough group along the host Egypt, Mozambique, and Senegal for the 2023 CAF underscore under 20 Cup of Nations. The Group A matches will be played in Egypt's capital, Cairo. The Flying Eagles are seven time champions of the biennial competition. Group B has Uganda, Central African Republic, South Sudan, and Congo. Games in the group will be played in Ismaila. And that concludes the national news for this hour. But before we go, here are some of the major headlines once again. Market Day signs on your 2023 budget of 310.4 billion naira into law in Shaki. Mazos lands Buari over constellation of Eastern Railway. Bloody clash looms in Noble Parks, Gara is over control. Panic as government abducts several students in Nodo State. Kidnapper calls collecting 3 million naira ransom from victims' parents. Fake doctor three suspects arrested in Nondo. So join us on all our social media handles on Facebook as Bagede Mowit Alawi Adebayo. Follow the page and share the page. And on Instagram as Bagede underscore 22. Follow the page and share the page as well. And on YouTube as Baba Bagede TV. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn your post notification bell. For more information or inquiries about our studio, call the number displaying on the screen. Thanks so much for always watching our news on BGI TV. I am Samit Olakomi Ajikia Day. Bye for now.